Hey Talking Fam and welcome to another Talking Sports video and today we will be taking a look back at yesterday in sports, August 9th of 2022. And um, we have some NFL news today to go over, so if, uh, please like and subscribe down below. I would really appreciate it and without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. To start off, we had Aaron Rodgers used a type of... Um, it's called uh, Ehusta. He is, which is a South American um, brewed drink, traditionally used both as a ceremonial spiritual medicine. Um, so it, the NFL says that it does not. Aaron Rodgers takes it, and the NFL says that it does not violate the dread policy. So, um, yeah, I mean. I, don't, I never knew he did that. Next that we have Jameis Winston will be out day to day with his, with a foot sprain, and he, he'll be out for regular season. It's just a foot sprain, so yeah. Next up we have the naming rights deal take Paul Brown Stadium to um yeah um Paul Brown Stadium no more. Next up, you have the Jets offensive lineman, uh, <clears throat> Matty Betton, Betton, expected to miss the season after a reported kneecap failure fracture, and um, that's too bad for the Jets. They needed him. He's one of their best offensive linemen on the team, and uh, yeah, too bad for them. Next up, the Commanders um, <clears throat> head coach Ron Rivera fires his defensive line coach Sam Mills and uh, named a new one, so... No, uh, he's out of a job. Next up, you. Next up, we have the Denver Broncos sale as when approved unanimously by the NFL owners to the Sam to the Walton Group. Next up, you have former NFL running back Marshawn Lynch has been put on the suspicion of a DU, DUI, and he shouldn't be doing that. He should not be drinking while driving, and it's his fault he was doing it. So. Next up, um, Aaron Rodgers saying there's no benefit in playing only one series in preseason games, so saying if he does play, he's wanting to start and play it through. Next up, we have um, <clears throat> the Saints' Taysom Hill re return to a, a utility role. Makes perfect sense. So, he is totally fine with being benched as a quarterback, so it's great all around. Next up, Sean McVay says he did sign he did sign a contract extension with the Rams earlier this offseason. No announcement of it yet, but uh, he did sign one. Next up, we have Aiden Hutchinson shows the role his signing talent on Hard Knots Premier. So he did he made the entire team sing um, Billy Jean or whatever. Next up, Geno Smith. Will start the Seahawks preseason opener, and Pete Carroll says the quarterback battle will take some time. So uh, Drew Locke and Geno Smith will be the two quarterbacks on their team. We'll have to, I think, it'll be Drew Locke because Geno Smith is even worse than Drew Locke. So, um, yeah, I uh, think, and Rokon Smith, the big Bears. Um, <clears throat> request a trade, seeing the Bears are trying to take advantage of me. And, uh, yeah, we'll just uh, take a look at that in the future. Next up, we have Roger Goodell says, uh, shows a need for a, evidence shows the need for a year-long Watson suspension, and he really didn't play last year at all, and this would be a two-year suspension, basically, because he didn't play last year either. And I really don't think he needs that much time. Two years, guys. And um, that's going to be the NFL news of the day. Moving on to the MLB stores of the day. And uh, there was um, some crazy store yesterday in the MLB. But, uh, yeah.
All right, guys. So let's start off with um, the MLB stores. The uh, Royals beat the White Sox four to two, while the Orioles edged out the Blue Jays six to five. The Phillies beat the Marlins four to one, while the Mets beat the Reds six to two. The Braves beat the Red Sox nine to seven, while the Guardians beat the Tigers five to two. The White Sox edged out the Royals three to two, while the Nationals edged out the Cubs six to five. The Astros beat the Rangers seven to five, while the Brewers beat the Rays five to three. The Rockies beat the Cardinals sixteen to five, which was a huge upset. I th- I think we swept the Yankees. And now we first thing we we lost lose to the Rockies by that much. Next up, the Padres beat the Giants seven to four, while the Diamondbacks beat the Pirates six to four. The Angels beat the Athletics five to one, while the Mariners edge out and sweep, not sweep, uh, <clears throat> edge out and shut out the Yankees one to nothing off of a bottom of the thirteenth home run. And of course, the Dodgers beat the Twins ten to three. All right, next up we have some news: the Yankees uh, Matt Carpenter has fractured his foot off of a foul ball in the first inning of um, Monday's game. And first inning, uh, foul ball, first at bat, and he fractured his foot off a of foul ball on Monday. Next up, Chris Sale undergoes a season-ending wrist and surgery after a biking accident. And Chris Sale has been out the last, like, three seasons with due to injuries, and I don't know how long this will go. Um... Chris Sale needs to um, he, Chris Sale needs to show some more umph um, here. Um, uh, next up, we have the the Blue Jays have signed outfielder uh, Jackie Bradley Jr. a day after he was waived by the Red Sox, and these are division rivals with the uh, Red Sox, and we'll just have them. Wait and see what's going to happen with Jack Bradley Jr. Next up, the White Sox have placed Tim Anderson on the IL with a torn hand ligament. And uh, he's going to be out for a little while. Um, yeah. Next up, Keith Hernandez says he asked not to cover Phillies games, saying they're not up to it. Uh, so... Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Okay, Otani last night pitched for the um, at, uh, Angels, and he got he made got his tenth win of the season, becoming the first since Babe Ruth, with ten home runs and ten wins in the same season. That's great. All right, I think that is it for the uh, MLB news of the day. Now, moving on to the NBA news of the day. Nothing going on in the NBA yesterday. So, um, that is the... Yesterday in sports. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe down below. I would really appreciate it. And see you in the next one. Peace.